Hey, welcome back to Wisconsin Family. You know, we love talking about books on this show. Whenever we have Arcadia books on the program, I just love all the things that they bring in. But we're very blessed today to actually have a local author in the house. This is Jimmy Brandmeyer, who is the author of Be Who You Are, A Song for My Children. Welcome, Jimmy. Thank you. Great to be here. Yeah, Great. good to have you with us. So I say drop your book on the floor. There. <laughs> That's all right. So uh, let's talk a little bit about your inspiration. What was your inspiration for writing uh, Be Who You Are, A Song for My Children? Uh, well, I wrote the book for my three daughters, Jamie, Jesse, and Josie. Okay. As they were getting out of uh, high school, getting ready to go into college, I did. I was kind of grabbed by the gut. I didn't want them to uh, let you know life steal the sparkle from their eye. Right. I didn't oh. want the challenges of growing up to, to you know, to rob them of their authenticity. They're right. fired up. They're creative. They're curious. They got this wad of e joy of life. Yeah. And sometimes as we go through life, and society says you got to do this, you got to major in this, and you got to go here, and you got to do that bit by bit that they kind of chip out that yeah. authenticity and I was really passionate about having them hold on to who they were right no matter what so that was the right. that, that was the, that was the inspiration of my three daughters Jamie Jesse and Josie right that's amazing and, and you know I'm, I'm thinking about people's personal belief in themselves as well yes you know society yes. is really good at tripping it you know chipping that away and saying hey you can't do this you're gonna to have to do this before you do that, and then yes. people lose that belief. Yes, it, really it's do. like some kind of conveyor belt that you're supposed to go through. Right. We're, we're kind of brainwashed, program, bing, 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 yep. bing. Yep. And I wanted them to avoid all of that right. and just hold on to their natural, curious, smart, creative selves. Right. And I really mean that, girls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. So absolutely. You don't want them to just take care of you when you retire. You no, really no, mean no. it. No, I want them to go through life with joy. And right. Too many people are limping through life. Uh, they are, yeah. Too oh, many, too many Good people are just, they're just, they settled, they, yes. they, they, they could be doing so much more. And this book, you know, it's, it's written for college kids, but, you know, they're asking, what do I want? Why do I want it? What am I right. going to major in? Right. But the thing is, even once you, once you get out of college, once you find that major, once you find that perfect job, right. once you do all these things, those questions about what's the point, it still yes. nudges you throughout life. Yes. Nice. So to anyone who's open enough to keep listening and hear it. Right. So this book isn't just for people in college trying to figure out what they want to do. It's for uh, it's for the millennial who doesn't want to be, you know, a multi-passionate millennial who has lots of different interests. This yeah. idea of finding your one passion playing hide and seek out there. Right. I mean, so it's for the millennial. It's for the 40-something that's kind of just showing up every day and bored right. out of their mind. Or even the perfect success whose life is void of perfect happiness right mm -hmm. this book is for them if you want to be happy no matter what happens yeah uh, this book this is the book wow so wow. that's what wow. I'm trying and to. and I think out. you probably just answered my next question because it was like there's a lot of like competing titles that are similar to this kind of book but you're you have a lot of passion for this so um, when you were writing this were you just thinking I just need to get this like out there and just no 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 I didn't write it for the market I didn't even think I was gonna write a book it started I'm a musician I've been in the music business forever I started writing a song the song kind of unfolded into this book I was grabbed by, I was thinking, I'm going to write this because the audience is going to like it. I, right. I wasn't even thinking about right. that. And it wasn't until I got to the end of the book yeah. when I realized what the book was about. Mm -hmm. When I realized what it really means to be who you are. Right. So, in, in essence, uh, you're talking about the other books out there. Great books. I probably have read them all. Wonderful books out mm -hmm. there telling you how to live your best life, right. how to get wealthy, get ripped, yeah. do all these different. These are wonderful right. things. I'm not, you know, right. live the life you imagine, imagine the life you want to live. Yeah. My book does that too. Sure. It teaches you how to blow through your fears and sure. live any life you've imagined. But the difference between my book and the other books is that many of these other great books, they miss the point. Right. The underlying assumption is incorrect it's wrong and right. it's a problem out in the world the underlying assumption is when i get these things right i'll be happy right mm -hmm. yeah. and mine takes you all the way the, the framework of life is simple it's the inner road and the outer road i talk about there happiness is on the inner road your inside yes. life is life yes happiness is not an external yes. event and i call it <laughs> yes. in the book i call it the big mistake everybody's chasing you know they think the outer road is the only one that matters and it does matter i'm not saying right, it doesn't right. and and the outer road is the way to happiness and I love Jim Carrey said, he said, I wish everybody could uh, realize their dreams of wealth and fame so they know that's not where they're going to get their sense of completion. Right. John Mayer, the singer, said, 
you know, all the success, something missing, and I don't know what it is. Girlfriend, check. Bank yeah. account, check. Yep. Oh, check. What's missing? Right. Even Matt Damon, after he won the Academy Award for Goodwill Hunting, he took his Academy Award back to the hotel, threw it on the bed, and said, God, I didn't kill anybody for that. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. So I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with these things. No, right. no, 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 no. But you would just never find happiness out there. The inner and the outer world have to be aligned. Yes. And the quality right. of your life kind of depends on the relationship between them. That's what I talk about. Very much so. Yes. Jimmy, we are almost out of time <laughs> okay. already, but can you tell us real quick, where can people who are interested get your book? They can get it on Amazon. They can okay. get it. Uh, it's, it, it's, it was released, uh, well, two weeks ago. So it should be anywhere books are sold. Okay. So you can get it on Amazon. You get the ebook on Amazon. Anywhere books are sold online. You can go to my website, jimmybrandmeyer.com, and I'll give you a signed version and some gifts. And it's it's maybe a little cheaper too. <laughs> so go to my website and check it out. So it's available basically on my website and everywhere else. And if oh, you want to hear this guy talk more, you can email him at info at jimmybrandmeyer.com for speaking engagements. Jimmy, I want to thank you for coming. Thank on you the show very today. much. Thank Pleasure. you, Jimmy. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. Don't go away. There is more coming up after the break here in Wisconsin Family.